Hi, I'm Valerie Byrne with Asian Food Solutions Comita Vita. Since we can't get together in person this year for a food show, I'm glad we have a chance to connect here virtually. So we've got some of our most popular products here today to give you an idea of what we have to offer. But posted, we also have a complete list of all of the Asian Food Solutions and Comita Vita items so you can see what all of your options are. I'm going to... Okay, the first things we're going to talk about are our chicken products that are processed with commodity code 100113. We've got both breaded options and unbreaded options, and both of them are really easy to prepare uh, and hold up really well. Um, first, in the front, we've got our breaded chicken. Uh, today, what we made is the Japanese cherry blossom, which is really my favorite. Um, it has a nice sweet flavor, so it's um, it's great for elementary all the way up through high school. Everybody really loves this product. Uh, we added the pineapple and the um, cherries and the peppers just for a little color and to give it a sweet and sour flavor, uh, but the product even served just by itself is great. Um, it meets two meat, meat alternate, it meets half a grain, and the breading really gets nice and crisp and holds up well. Um, there's really even cold options you can do with this product that are good. Um, behind that, we've got our unbreaded. Today we've got the teriyaki chicken. We've added a little sesame seeds, super easy to prepare. All the unbreaded products come with the chicken and the sauce in the bag together. Um, they can just be prepared in the oven in a half pan really simply. Um, in addition to the regular teriyaki, we've got a gluten-free teriyaki as well as a Thai sweet chili, and both of those are gluten-free options. Uh, they're, um, they're good in a wrap, they're really versatile, and great holding time. Behind that, we've got a sliced beef option. Today we have our teriyaki beef, and again, we added the broccoli. It's great even by itself, but broccoli beef is such a great um, traditional product that it's really nice when you add the broccoli as well. Uh, in addition to the teriyaki, we offer a Korean, a Mongolian, and then there's a plain sliced beef, which is really good for a speed scratch option. Um, all of them are easy just to thaw and cook in the oven. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about are some of my favorite products, which are our shreds. We've got the beef shreds here today, and these can be processed with commodity code 100156, and that is the same commodity code that would be used for the sliced beef options that we've already talked about. Um, the shreds are Comita Vita products. Um, they are super easy to prepare. You just put them in the oven in a half pan. They shred very easily when you're done. Um, they're sous vide cooked and they're super clean label. All of the shreds are basically just meat and a little salt. In addition to the beef, we've got a chicken, which is processed with commodity 100103, which is white dark, but it draws down evenly. Um, and we've also got a pork shred, which is processed with 100193. They're all really good options. They are all products that you can take one skew from the freezer and use for so many different concepts that we'll talk about in just a minute. So it makes your life very easy. In addition to the plain shred, Chicken Tinga is one of our newer products. It's already seasoned, sauced, you just put it in the oven, shred it a little when it's done. It's a really popular new flavor profile. Um, it's um, Mexican seasonings, it's great in tacos, tostadas, nachos, tachos. Um, it can even really go on a pizza with a little cilantro. It's, it's versatile too. Um, so these are, as I said, some of my favorites for good reason and we'll talk about that more in a minute. Our next products we've got here are both Comita Vita options. Uh, we've got our tamales in the front, which are really great. They're a traditional tamale that comes in the husk. Of course, in Texas, I think we all know we take the husk off first. We don't have the confusion that people have in other areas. Uh, the one that we've got here today is our um, green chili and cheese tamale, which is actually made with hatch green chilies. Um, that one cannot be commodity processed, but it's a really good vegetarian option and it has a great flavor profile. In addition to the uh, hatch green chili and cheese, we've also got a chicken and cheese that can be commodity processed with code 100103. Uh, and we have a beef tamale that is also really good and be commodity processed as well. Um, and behind that, we've got our burritos. Um, today, we have the chicken burrito. I don't know how well you can see, but it's actually made with the chicken shreds that we just talked about a minute ago. Um, it's nice, whole muscle, um, no soy, no fillers, they're, they're very clean labeled. Um, in addition to the chicken, we also have a pork tamale, we have a beef shred tamale, and we have a bean and cheese. All of the products, except for the bean and cheese, can be bought either bulk or individually wrapped, and the bean and cheese is just individually wrapped only. 
Um, so for all your curbside, you're in the classroom, um, it's, they're really good options for that um, because they're really flexible. They do best from being thawed first before cooked, but they can be cooked from frozen or thawed. So even if you need to send products home frozen, um, they would do great um, for students and their families to heat them up at home. And so that kind of wraps up our individually, individually wrapped products, easy for you to say. Um, and then we'll go on to um, the concepts that I mentioned. Um, on the bottom, we have done a couple of things with our chicken tinka. We've got the burritos, uh, or a wrap actually. Uh, we have a tostada. Um, as I mentioned, that would be great in tachos, it would be good on nachos, um, on a pizza with some cilantro, it's, it's pretty versatile. When you get to the top, uh, we have a, one of my favorites, which is a shaker salad with our breaded chicken. This is a way that you can take the breaded chicken that you may already be using now and serve it in a cold concept. Um, it's going to hold up well. You can just package it separately. Um, the sauce makes the dressing on the chicken. Um, you can put it with your lettuce in the bottom. And if you'd like to use it in a parfait cup with some of our crispy chow mein noodles, it's kind of a fun way for the kids to add a grain as they pour it into the salad. Um, over on this side, because I love the beef shred so much and I love all the different things you can use it for, um, we've got three different options with our beef shreds. But any of the shreds can go so many different ways. Um, on the bottom, we've got a mashed potato bowl where the, the shreds with the little mashed potatoes, gravy corn are amazing. Um, above, we have it stuffed in a baked potato. In the top, we have a barbecue sandwich. Um, it tastes great that way. It would also be great with some gravy. Um, delicious on nachos with some queso. Um, pretty much anything that you can think of that you would like. Delicious cooked beef on a um, pot roast and gravy. Basically, you can um, kind of your sky's the limit on what you do with it. So thank you so much for your time and checking out our products. If you have any questions on anything you saw today or on any of our other items, um, please let me know and I'll be glad to help you out with um, samples, nutritional information, anything that you need. Uh, at the close of the video, my contact information will be posted and so I believe it's on the website as well. So please reach out for anything I can help you with.